Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm back at the wonderful one acre lot community of Bell Oaks in Boverde, Texas, and I got a treat for you today. I'm going to be doing a two part series. The first part is an interview with one of my new favorite custom home builders, Artisan Homes, because we got the owner, and uh, I've been pretty darn impressed with him. His name is Gabriel Sanchez, and he's agreed to do a sit down interview with me. And I'm gonna ask him a few basic questions that anybody's considering building a custom home should ask. And then in part two, he's gonna give us a tour of this beautiful model home you see behind me. All right, let's go check it out. This is an absolutely gorgeous model home. I did do a video tour of it a while back before uh, it, was, it was still under construction and I had a few people in comments like, wow, I can't wait to see this house when it's completed. It's right when you come into the left of Bell Oaks where they have the other model homes. And I'm really impressed with this community. Uh, low taxes, great schools, and they are coming along with the amenity center. All right, and uh, multiple people I've talked to, they have been really impressed with artisan homes. And a custom home builder is only as good as their owner is. And that's why I want to sit down and talk to Mr. Gabriel. All right, well, first off, I want to say thank you, Mr. Gabriel Sanchez from Artisan Homes for sitting down and doing this interview with me. I really appreciate it. And I, I don't do these as often as I should, but when I find a builder that I've heard from multiple sources that, hey, you need to look into this guy. This guy's got a great reputation. And I've heard that from not just your sales rep, uh, other folks. And like I was telling people in my intro, I did come through and do a walkthrough. And I was pretty blown away with your level five um, uh, sheetrock work there. Absolutely. And I was like, okay, I need to get to know this guy. So uh, here's your opportunity to kind of tell the internet kind of a little bit about yourself and your company and uh, let you run with that. Fantastic. Well, my name is Gabriel Sanchez, uh, born and raised here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, married, beautiful wife, three amazing kids. Um, and I absolutely love what I do. Um, it's been a great uh, just kind of journey getting mm -hmm. to, I guess, this point where I'm able to, you know, day in and day out just uh, truly do what I'm, I'm just very passionate about. And that's, you know, building, just building homes for wonderful people um, and just high performance homes that that's kind of the the fun and the joy and the kid in me that loves to kind of construct those just amazing things that are just going to last a really long time nice um are do y'all build in just this area or where else do y'all build at currently right now we're you know san antonio and surrounding areas a lot of the projects that we have ongoing are uh, within the bell oaks community um, we have a great relationship uh with sutherland uh jay randy and joe great people. Um, we've been able to uh, work real closely with them, uh, but also uh, this is kind of, uh, you know, my backyard in a sense. I grew up 15, 20 minutes from here, so I'm very familiar with this area. Um, but, you know, we do occasionally have clients coming in who are interested in building, um, and whether it's Bernie, Kerrville, uh, Canyon Lake, et cetera, and we're, we're definitely open to uh, that as well. Nice. Um, when people come in, and every, I know every client's a little bit different. Some of the folks have been researching, they have their idea in their mind of what they want. Some of them even do like the drawing out their plans or, or maybe even hire an architect to come in. Um, do you allow people to bring in their own plans or do you have your own plans or I know it's a long question or do they do you have your own architects as well absolutely so everything uh, is done from scratch we're a full custom builder so everything is done from concept you know uh, where the client comes in uh, he provides us with the wish list that includes, you know, architectural style, square footage, amount of bedrooms, so on and so forth. And we get that concept, that wish list, and then we do take it to um, our designer. And our design process is, of course, in my opinion, I think it's wonderful. It's mm -hmm. very, um, you know, everyone at the table, whether it's me, it's the designer, and of course the client, 
um, just bringing something beautiful to life. And uh, it's a really fun process. Um, it, it's just like um, any construction process. Pre-construction planning is so vital. Mm -hmm. So to have all those heads in one room at one time through that process is so very important. Now, you mentioned pre-construction planning. I know uh, the more you plan and prep before you break ground and start building, the better. But sometimes people's uh, plans change just a little bit and they start having input. Do you allow clients to make uh, changes after you already started? And just kind of go in that process of what you, what you require for clients if they do want to make changes? Of course. So during any construction process, we're going to do the absolute best we can um, during the pre-construction phase. But of course, when you're building a home, there's going to be a time where maybe you're sitting inside of your frame and you decide, you know what, maybe I want this room, uh, this closet to be a little bigger, the, the ceiling to be a little higher. Um, and at that point, you know, there's a process that we have to go through. If it's something that's already been um, installed or ordered, then we approach it a certain way. If it has not um, been ordered or installed, then yeah, then we can possibly look at uh, going a different direction and not having to um, be in the cost for the client, of course, depending on what it is. Yeah, I know with, uh, as we're filming this, it is 1 June 2022, and yeah, supply chain, getting stuff in, uh, setting those proper expectations for how long things will take, and I know you can't give an exact time, uh, ballparking about from someone first talks to you, and believe me, so much of on the customer of what they want to do is about how long is that first getting under contract and getting a house built to where they're able to move in? Of course, and we get this question a lot mm -hmm. because I mean timing, um, especially right now, can mean the difference of um, budget-wise affordability or non-affordability. Mm -hmm. So what I'm telling my clients is from funding because there's a lot that can take place um, before that, whether it's the design phase or conversations that we're having with our client and them uh, you know, trying to make a decision to move forward. From funding, we're about 12 months. Okay, and I'm definitely seeing that. I have to explain to people, set those right expectations because this is gonna be not just a one year process and that's why I want people out there in the net to try to get to know some of these builders because this is a long-term relationship when you're looking to build something like these beautiful custom homes. So it's not just that one year during the build process, you're not going away. You're gonna be around for a while. Absolutely. So service, you know, it's in a lot of industries and, and things out there. So for me, uh, how good builders are determined, it's almost after the construction of the building because there's going to be phone calls, mm -hmm. clients are going to, you know, maybe have an issue, whether it's an adjustment, whatever it may be, but that's when it really counts to the client. A lot of, uh, a lot of people can start a job, but finishing strong and being there to service the house when mm -hmm. need be is very, very important. Very good. See, that's, that's why I wanted to do this interview with you. <laughs> um, as people know, it's no surprise, it gets hot in Texas. We're about 95 degrees outside. Um, and especially folks, if you're coming from the West Coast, that question I always get is energy efficient. How, how much my electric bill is and uh, it's one of those big advantages of going with a new construction because the materials have changed so much over the years. Homes have gotten a lot more energy efficient. What do you guys do to uh, make your house as energy efficient as possible? Well, for starters, our standard um, is going to be a two by six exterior wall. And why that's important is because the cavity and, and how much insulation we can get um, and our value we can get out of putting an open cell foam insulation within that two by six cavity. Um, and then also our windows. Our windows um, are fiberglass windows, high efficiency windows. Appliances, of course, um, are going to be energy saving appliances. Those are just some of the things that we can do and implement into our house. Um, as standard um, to help them become more energy efficient. Nice. Um, 
Do y'all have any type of inspection process as y'all are going through it? And if so, can you kind of walk us through that? Absolutely. There's an inspection process throughout the whole construction process from the very beginning, whether it's the uh, city doing uh, their formal inspection, uh, my project manager doing his or me having my eyes, or a third party engineer coming out to inspect um, pre pour. These are all inspections that take place throughout the construction process, and it's good to have multiple eyes on a project um, throughout the process. Nice. Um, when would the final cost of the house be determined? Because as things change, of course, materials are a little unpredictable right now. Um, when do y'all kind of lock in, this is the no BS, this is what the price of the house is going to be? So to answer that question, it's after design. Okay. So we have to get through design before we can provide you with the hard cost because a lot of people come in, they want to have a conversation, which I love, um, but of course they want price mm -hmm. and it's, it's super important to them and it's super important to me to be as upfront with them and honest as I can. Um, and the honest truth is I can't provide you with the hard cost unless I know exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. And the only way I'm going to know that is if we go through the design process. That way we know how many doors, how many lighting fixtures, the square footage on tile versus flooring, how many countertops, how much of cabinetry we're going to have. At that point, then I can provide you a hard cost. After we get out of design, it'll, the plans will go to estimating. Once we get that back from estimating, then we can provide the client with the contract. Nice. And before people start putting in the comments, like asking those questions, how much per square foot? I never like to ask that question because two years ago I did that with another builder and I still get, every time I walk into that builder, hey, Jason, you need to change that because prices have changed. So I'm not asking that question because things do change. Prices have been going up, especially this year. So don't beat me up in the comments asking about that questions. If you want to, feel free to reach out to me and we can give a ballpark of what they are at the present day when you're watching that video. And of course, so much is going to depend on what your clients put into the house. Absolutely. The level of finishes um, that come with the house and of course different people have different tastes. Mm -hmm. um, obviously directly affects the cost and the budget. Yeah. And foundation, what the lot is. FYI, the flatter the lot, the cheaper, the less expensive that foundation is. Absolutely. If you're having challenges with a certain lot, with the topography, um, you know, say we're so high in the front and it significantly drops in the back, of course, you know, more material is going to affect the cost. Mm -hmm. um, as we're filming this, we are in their brand new model home, which I really like having people being able to showcase what you guys can do. Not all custom home builders do that. Do y'all plan to keep this model home as a model or? Absolutely. So this home in particular um, sold mid-construction, but we love it. We want to stay here in Bell Oaks. We're committed to Bell Oaks. Um, so we're going to utilize it as a model home for years to come. Good deal. So if y'all mentioned in my intro, this is in Bell Oaks. In Boverde, Texas, Blanco Road is right out the door here, so definitely come in and talk to Gabriel uh, for Artisan Homes. Do y'all have any, uh, any references? Uh, I know there's only so much you can gain from getting to know you, but talking to people who've built with you before. Absolutely. You Absolutely. I can um, references in terms of existing clients or past clients because you're right, to really get an idea of how a builder operates, you know, you really kind of got to go to the source. Mm -hmm, yeah, Yelp only gets you so far being able to pick up that phone call, pick up that phone and make that call to someone and say, hey, we're considering using you guys. What's your opinion? Absolutely. Um, what advice would you give anybody who's watching this video who's thinking about making this step into getting into a custom home? Time is your friend and do your homework. Do your homework, come out, go out, talk to as many builders as you can. I welcome that because I want and I like educated buyers who know what they want. Um, so get out there, talk to builders, take a look at uh, different lots that you may be interested in. When you start looking for a lot to build on, man, there's not a lot available out there right now. There's really not, and uh, all the good stuff goes first. Yes. 
So get in now. You can wait and build a few years down the line. Um, but absolutely, love to talk to anybody who wants to come in. Love having conversations with people um, about the build process or any questions they have. All right, well, that's all the questions I have for you today. I definitely appreciate the chance to interview you with you. I like efficiency instead of people having to go wandering around blindly. I want people to be able to see, get to know builders before they have to come in and make this plunge. Absolutely, and I definitely appreciate you coming by. Um, I do want to leave uh, your viewers with two very pe good pieces of information. Um, as they're going around, um, you know, getting this information from people, there's two important things, or two important questions they need to ask. Um, and that is, uh, what does this price actually include in terms of okay. turnkey? Um, that's a huge key word that I tell everybody who walks into the door. Turnkey is a big word that they're gonna wanna ask because they're gonna wanna know what they're getting you know, for that price. Mm -hmm. And then also the allowances. What are my allowances? What am I actually going to be able to get when it comes time to make the selections? Those are two very important things. Um, so I want to leave your, your viewers with that because it's I think it's helpful information, mm -hmm. especially right now. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate you coming by. Um, and I look forward to, to yeah. the next video. Yeah, well, I definitely appreciate your time. Absolutely. And uh, this is part one and part two we're gonna have Gabriel give us a tour of this beautiful model home. So stay tuned, I'm gonna have that uh, video linked up here in the, wherever I do, put it up there. All right, well, if you want some more information, remember the best way to get a hold of me, I'm a local realtor, is to click the calendar link in my description box. Just be, I'd love to schedule some time with you and uh, answer any questions you have, and uh, I would be happy to put you in contact with Mr. Gabriel Sanchez. As you can tell, he's pretty damn impressive. All right, talk to you soon. And if you like this video, hit that like button and share, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep sharing my videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now.